All right, so I just got to ask, how how interesting is this experience right now? Because I know you were, uh, just a couple days ago, you weren't even going to be fighting. You're making UFC debut. So explain how this feels. Um, it's it's different. I mean, like, because as of Monday, I was just, like, getting up, going to go teach at my gym, take my baby to daycare, and then it's like my manager called at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I was gone by 6 o'clock that night here getting medicals done. So it's, it's a whirlwind. It's, it's like coming, like, and the realization, but I just didn't expect it to happen this way, so I like it. And so, did you kind of already know that the UFC was looking at you and you were kind of waiting, or did this just completely come out of the blue? So, um, when I signed with my manager house, he told me right after I signed, he was like, yo, there's an opening, and I'll put your name in. This was three weeks ago, because I fought, I fought last month on the 27th, so I'm like, I'm like three weeks out from the fight. So I just got them fighting, and he was like, well, um, there's, an open, there's an opening coming up, there's a guy to pull out, I'll put your name in. And it didn't happen. They went with collar instead. So once two weeks passed, I was like, oh, there's absolutely, like, they, they announced collar on the freaking uh, UFC website. So I'm like, oh, okay, the fight's happening. So I started looking for, like, my next fight maybe in November or something like that. I'm getting, helping get my little brother ready for his fight. And the only reason I actually could make it to this fight was because his main training partner, one of my teammates, he broke his toe. So I had to, like, step up and like start training my little brother so it kept me in shape and that's why I was able to actually make weight and get here so thanks for breaking your toe Patton. <laughs> so uh, there, uh, your opponent spoke a little bit about the fact that you guys are friends you guys know each other so can you explain how you know each other? Yeah I mean like we're both from the we both grew up um, fighting on the same local circuit out in um, like the tri-state area because I'm from Pittsburgh he's from Ohio he's been to my gym we've trained multiple times like after my last fight Two week, three weeks ago, he hit me up. Was like, "Yo, good shit," and he shared my knockout on his on his Instagram and stuff. So it's kind of weird, but in the same sense, it's like you know, it's this is business. Like, I mean, if I would have already been in the UFC, I would probably said no to fighting him just because he is my boy and like we're cool. But I'm not in the UFC until now, so I mean, this is my way to get in. I, I would have fought uh, France and gone if they told me I would have had to. I don't care <laughs> if I gotta get here. I gotta get here. So I'm here. So have the two of you talked since the fight's been announced? We, um, I saw him at the fighter check-in. We, like, shook hands and stuff. We said, let's have some fun, you know, yeah, yeah. But, like, we've, like, nodded heads when we saw each other, but not really too much. You don't want to be too, too friendly because we are about to beat the shit out of each other. So we want to kind of separate the line and stuff. And do you have a prediction for the fight? Violence. <laughs> if you know anything about me, how I fight, violence, how Devontae fight, violence. This is, like, prime. It's a main event on ESPN for a reason. It's, like... It's weird. Everything just seems to line up perfectly. I mean, so it's it's going to be nasty. That's a fun though. I mean, high le high level MMA, basically. Thank you. I'm just gonna get a quick picture too.